from the internet to your iPad for use offline uh, when you don't have an internet connection. And we're going to use the Goodreader app. Now this is Goodreader for iPad. You see it right here on our screen. We'll click that. And you see we've got the main uh, uh, screen here with the folders on the left and the options on the right um, of Goodreader. Now you might be familiar with Goodreader. It's one of our favorite apps for the iPad because it lets us organize files. We're going to use it here to organize video files and before we organize them, actually download them from the internet. Now Goodreader has a uh, built-in web browser. You can see here we've got uh, under web downloads on the right, we've got browse the web. So we'll go in there and uh, right when we go in to browse the web, it's going to give us if we uh, uh, backspace out of there this is the uh, view you might see and it's just a blank URL address and you can type in your URL for example we're gonna go to jw.org and show you how to download videos right from uh, the jw.org website um, so we're now we're in the website and we're gonna go into the video section that's under children here we'll click there now in Goodreader you'll see that every time you click on a link or want to go to a new page it'll ask you if you want to follow the link or download the linked file we're not going to want to download just yet because we just want to go to that uh, page so we'll just hit follow the link we'll hit that every time until we want to actually get to the file we want to download so there's one example of a video we'll, we'll go over here into the video section we'll see all the videos that are available for children for example uh, this one here so we'll click on that. Now you'll notice that uh, we've got a couple of options here at the bottom under download. These are the different resolutions or the video quality and file size that we can choose. So we'll just click on one of these, for example, 480, and we'll say download linked file. A good reader is going to give us a, a little notification here that even though we're still browsing the internet, the file is downloading. Uh, on the main screen of Goodreader. So we'll click OK and we'll close out of there. Now we could click another video here. We could do the same thing. This time we'll click on 360. We'll say download linked file and it'll give us that same notification. Now where are those files downloading to? Let's back out of our browser here on the upper left hand corner and you can see our files are downloading right in the main screen. So we'll wait for that to download. I'm just going to cancel this one. So the, the other one will go a little bit faster. Now once it's done downloading, you'll see it appear on the left hand side. Or it might appear in your downloads folder if you have that folder in, uh, in Goodreader. Okay, so here we go. Here's our file. We can click on it and it's going to start playing right there on our iPad. And it's playing offline, not using the internet. I'm going to tap and hold on the file. This is going to allow us to rename it. It's going to bring up this menu here on the right hand side. We can click rename and we can uh, rename the file so we can actually tell which one it is. There we go. You can see it's renamed. We'll click it again and we can on the right hand side click move, the move button and we can move it into a folder so we can find it and organize it. So maybe you have a videos folder we can go into there. So that's basically how to download files, uh, videos from JW.org onto your iPad for use offline.